Welcome back to First Issues. A few episodes back, we profiled two of three winners from the Botswana Digital and Innovation Hub pitch session in partnership with the First National Bank of Botswana Foundation. The first winner we profiled was Didin Kemureki, founder of Organic Naturals Skincare, a business venture she financed with her tertiary schooling allowance. She walked away with 250,000 pula on pitch day. Next, we spoke to Angular Creative Labs founder Tato Kasongo. Angular Creative Labs pitched with Muhiri App and walked away with a 150,000 pula cash prize. Tonight, we speak to another winner, Luati Lengala, who's co-founder of Doctors E-Consult. Doctors E-Consult won 50,000 pula prize money at the session, having competed under the Startups with Prototype category. The co-founder, Loa Tile, is a Bachelor of Laws degree holder and is an older sister to a younger brother who's living with a disability. She attributes her brother's condition as being instrumental in she and her business partner starting Doctors E Consult. I think the starting point is just to explain brief, briefly why we started Dr. Z Consult. There was a lot of problems that we actually saw here in Botswana emanating from our health ecosystem. We realized that a lot of people are actually struggling to access primary health care services and just health in general. You know, um, our health facilities, our medical facilities, our clinics, they're just too congested, especially when we speak about the public sector. People have to wake up in the very early hours of the morning, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., and they have to go in queue to see their doctors or their specialist doctors, whatever the case may be. And, you know, we realize that this is a great hindrance to seeking primary health care because a lot of people then just turn away and don't seek uh, medical attention at all. And then another problem that we realized is our doctors are actually all the way here in Khaburuni, in the capital city. So what about those who are far? What about those who can't have access to those doctors? And we also realized that for marginalized groups, like those living with disability, it's a very tedious process. So it's very hard when we are speaking about them accessing health facilities. So these are some of the problems that actually emanated. And then we began a platform called Doctors E-Consult. This is basically a one-stop health facility, a one-stop virtual health facility. So at Doctors E-Consult, what we do is we facilitate consultations via live video calls and live messenger chats. So we've basically digitized the health. Um, process. So you're now able to search for any doctor of your choice, whether it's a pediatrician, a gyna, um, a GP, a pediatrician, anything really. And then you'd be able to find those on our platform. And then you're able to book an appointment, a virtual appointment for wherever you are. If you're at home, you're able to book an appointment with that particular doctor. And then you're even able to consult the doctor online. After consultations, our platform allows you to also order medication online. So you're able to just upload your prescription onto the platform and then you're able to order medication online. And if it's not medication that needs a prescription, you're, you're able to buy it over the counter through our platform still. And then what we've also done is we've simplified the... Um, the laborat laboratory tests. So what we do at Doctors E Consult, we've also created an electronic medical record keeping system. In simple terms, this means we've now digitized um, patients' health records. We're actually now able to access a patient's history. Um, we're able to um, have that patient's file online now. So when you're done with your doctor consultation, the doctor simply just uploads um, the history consultation of what, what they've said to you, or what's been going on with you, the medications that they've given you, you are now able to find that right on our platform. So basically, I was saying in a nutshell, that's what we do at Dr. Z Consult. We are simplifying the health journey. You talk about, you know, simplifying the medical space ecosystem, but I can't imagine this being a simple journey to embark on. So... Maybe right now you could tell us about some of these stumbling blocks that you've had to overcome. I would say one of the biggest stumbling blocks that we actually had to um, come over was the fact that there was not much education around this um, area of the of, of our ecosystem. A lot of people didn't have an education around what e-health is. So we actually had to 
Um, at one point last year, we had to approach the Ministry of Health because we didn't have regulations, we didn't have laws in place that actually protected people's data. But um, so, um, so that was one of the greatest stumbling blocks that we've come across. But you know, it's safe to say that now I think that stumbling block has been put aside because we now have the introduction of the Data Protection Act, which came into effect on the 15th of October. So I think that's a step in the right direction when we speak about um, e-health in Botswana. And recently, the Ministry has also launched a revitalization of primary health where they're speaking of digitizing healthcare so I think one of the biggest stumbling blocks would definitely be the education around e-health itself. So where do you see your business you know in the maybe near future medium term or even the long term? Well, basically where we see Dr. Z Consult is actually impacting a lot of lives here in Botswana. We, we hope to see a lot of usership in terms of Botswana but besides our um, national um, presence. We also want to go regional and we want to actually go to the rest of Africa. So part of our near plan futures is actually to export our service to um, other countries like Rwanda and Kenya. Specifically, we chose these countries looking at their robust um, privacy policies and looking at their e-health strategies. We felt that it was the perfect fit for a platform like ours and their reception to us technology is very high. So that's where we see ourselves in the near future. We plan to export this particular service. This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana. FNB, how can we help you?